What's up guys, today we're playing Epic 7 and we're going to look at the promotion system revamp, the changes that they made to how you promote heroes and how you go about getting materials. So they've made three very important changes. The very first one is the Forest of Souls, the next is the Penguin Mileage, and the third is simply how you promote these heroes. So let's go in, we're going to look at Forest of Souls to start and see how they've changed this and how it's going to change how we function within the game. The main structure of Force of Souls has not changed. We still have the Penguin Nest, the Spear Well, and the Molagora Farm, and they still operate on the same timers. Spear Well will grant you once per day, Penguin Nest twice per day, and Molagora once per week. Now what they have changed is the Growth Altar. In the past, we had the Phantasms that you were able to summon and it was just the uh, two-star phantasms. Now you were technically able to also have a three-star phantasm, but as we know, that was not uh, a functionality within the system, and it's been corrected. So it's been replaced with your ability to summon two and three-star, four-star, and five-star ingredients, which you'll use to uh, promote your heroes. Now you can see here that my numbers might be a little different. The base value of summoning the two to three star is 200, 1000, and 5000. What they have changed is how the uh, system works when you put points into it. The very first thing is it says higher grades of Spirit Bloom and Molagora do not appear. Under the previous version, there was a small percent chance that you would get the higher version of Molagora, which of course was taken out of the game several years ago, and you had a chance to get a higher version of the Phantasm, which did not work, and that we proved in some of our previous videos. What they've also changed is not only do you reduce the cost, but you also reduce the time. This was previously just time. So at a max level, you have a 15% chance to reduce the stigma that you need to create Spirit Blooms. At the max level, that's going to be 40 to 150, 4,250 to create each one. As we can see here, base value 5,000 gets reduced to 4,500 and then gets reduced again to 4,250 which could be a factor in how you put in your points. The way that they changed how this works uh, really lends itself well to how we're currently farming within the game. And that leads us to our next change with the uh, side story now dropping stigma. For the last several years, we had the ability to farm penguins through our side story event. Now what they have done is they've changed that to now a stigma collection device. This means that you'll no longer build penguins as your farming adventure and your farming side story. So really what you would do is you would put on four max level heroes with at least one of them with the ability to go through right. this very Target quickly. Confirmed. And you know, a lot of people use Arbiter Vildred for this. Chaos. Honestly, I don't use him very much at all. I just put some random gear onto heroes who need friendship, and then I run them. One important thing here is that this is not the most efficient way to level up your heroes. It never has. The most efficient way to level up your heroes is to simply take heroes that need experience and to use them in the game, right? But as we've gone through, uh, they introduced the Molagora system attached to friendship so any hero that's four or five star starting value will get three free molagoras once you hit friendship level 10 which is very important so for me i always put people in that need friendship these are three star heroes here you don't get anything uh different from having their friendship go up but i just like to see friendship 10 i don't know why and so i just put those guys in so we can see here that we have a stigma reward, 6,979, and we receive 247 stigma. Now this is important because this was something like 20 before, and you can see that it has gone up quite a lot. 
one thing that we're going to do next is we're going to put on an artifact that will help increase the amount of stigma that we gain by doing the exact same run and the exact same team. The artifact that we're going to look at today is called To a Whole New World. There are several versions of this artifact and they give them out periodically on like the anniversary events or this one was for the celebration of Azera Foundation Day and it increases your XP acquired by 15%. This does not stack with other artifacts and so you can only apply it one time. You can have it on any hero within the team and I'm going to go ahead and put it on Glenn. So let's see how this affects how much stigma we get by running the exact same map. Attaching this new artifact has taken us from a base value of 6,979 to now 7,931, which is an increase of roughly 14%. Now the artifact itself is a 15% increase. So this is actually really important to note because the 15% increase is for when you have a hero who has not leveled up to the maximum level. It is reduced for every single hero that you have that is maximum. But in replace of that extra XP, they give you stigma. So again, the most efficient way to do this is to simply run heroes that need experience. But if you don't have heroes that need experience, or you would rather just level them up for your friendship, this is a great way to do it. And we see that we get an increase here based on that extra artifact that we're using. Now let's take this experiment one step further and we added a plus 10 experience boost that comes from your guild. Now what we have is we started with 6,979. Adding in the 15% artifact took us to 7,931. Now we've increased that further to 8,565 for a total increase of 23% over our base value. So as you can see, adding in more XP boost will give you more stigma, including the artifact and including the buffs that you get either through the events that we have on uh, you know weekends once a month or if you're able to acquire an XP boosting uh, item either as a reward or because you bought it in the shop, this will increase the amount of stigma that you have. And then we can use that stigma now to go and buy the different kinds of items from our Forest of Souls. And overall, I did want to document how this changes. As we can see, once we got the stigma reward, uh, and we have surpassed now the bar, it does not increase the amount of stigma that we have. This is something that you're gonna get on a per fight basis rather than when the stigma reward is up. In the previous version, when we had the penguin mileage, once this got to the bar maximum, then you got a penguin. As it sits here, this bar no longer has that same effect and you're going to get stigma on an increase Per basis for each fight or each map that you're doing so don't pay attention to the bar pay attention to the total number that you're going to get because this is going to be very important but the total bar itself no longer has representation of when you're going to receive that reward and now let's look at how they changed the actual promotion system very first is they've removed the bulk a promotion button that was right here and replaced it with the transmit button that was a little bit lost in the chaos of having so many buttons if we click that then we can see that we're still able to transmute our different phantasms for the now spirit blooms the epics will give you epic if we move down to the four star here they will give you the greater and then moving down into the two and the three star, they now give you uh, four and one uh, when you are able to transmute the phantasms. <laughs> Funny story is that now these are going to start disappearing because everyone's going to transmit them. So if you really want to be cool, maybe you can sport a rep of the uh, phantasm. And then as the player base, as new players join, they're going to wonder what the heck is that? And it'll be kind of fun. But as we go through, now we no longer have the ability to promote based on our phantasms. 
clicking on the promote button brings up the spirit blooms and you'll have to go through and spend your stigma to get your spirit blooms or to transmit. So one thing that I do like that they changed is how you get spirit blooms. If we click on good old Gunther here, we can see that previously this gave us gold and a silver transmit stone, but is now giving lesser spirit blooms as well. If we go into our four and our five star heroes, then we can see the same thing happens here where they're granting spirit blooms. So this is really great for end game players who are able to now transmute all the heroes that they don't want into spirit blooms. This will also help you as a brand new player because you're gonna be able to get rid of those three star heroes that were typically used as promotion or just for silver transmit stones and you get both. Building up stigma when you're first starting out and you're not farming hunts all the time can be difficult and this is gonna be one way that they change it. Another way that they change this is if we go into our imprint system, and let's go ahead and look at Spectre Tenebria. Imprints with unknown slate grant you nothing. Imprints, as we go down into Tenebria, now grant the equivalent as if you had transmitted them. So this is really amazing because it gives you a lot of your spirit blooms for imprinting your heroes. And it doesn't really matter what kind of hero it is as long as you use a five-star hero to imprint them. Now they did not backdate this, which means that I didn't get you know this big influx of spirit blooms for all the triple S heroes that I already have, and that's okay. I don't think they really had to do that, but going forward, having those imprints and putting those imprints on heroes that you really like, granting you the spirit blooms is a nice addition, and I do like that quite a lot. One aspect that can be very confusing is how the spirit blooms relate to each other. Now you're able to, at a factor of five, change from one tier to the next. So that means that five lessers now become five graders, five graders now become five epics. If we want to promote this hero, then we can simply click every single one of these, which is annoying, or you can select to hit auto select. Now, once you hit auto select, it will automatically convert these things for you. There's not a manual conversion, such as with you know the other types of runes that we convert, and there's no gold cost. So going from lesser to epic or greater to epic is the same conversion rate. There is no loss in between there. The only loss would be is if you put more points into your forest of souls because you're summoning the spirit blooms at the cost at that time and not you know backdated for your new and improved cost. So when you hit auto select, it will automatically convert these. Now this seems like an unnecessary step. Why would you have the different tier levels for each one of your four stars? Why not just have lesser spirit blooms or simply call them spirit blooms and then put them at a rate to uh, equal greater and epic when you are coming in here and doing the promotions. I don't understand why you have these when you can't go backward. They're not backward compatible. Once I change the lessers into epics, I can't change them back into lessers. I have to go and buy more, which again just seems unnecessary. Overall, I really like the changes to the promotion system. Epic 7 has been moving into a direction where depending on where you are in your gameplay, where you need to farm, you're able to still progress and you're still able to do your promotions. Whether you want to go into your unrecorded history and farm catalysts, or whether you just need gear and you're farming hunts, this will give you the stigma that you need to make penguins and to also make spirit blooms and to have those promotions so that you continually make new heroes that you want to play and have fun in epic 7 right because this is what it's about how do we get to where we can have fun every single day and also progress within the story and progress within our accounts to challenge new and better and you know more difficult material overall i do like it i think they could have done a better job with a tiering system but it's really a small thing 
that a lot of people are going to get used to and maybe not even think about anymore. Since they do have three tiers, I appreciate they didn't put a combine button in because that would make it even more clicking and even worse. But know that when you hit that auto select, it's going to automatically combine the things that you have to make what you need to also promote that hero that you are in right now, right? Ideally, you know, what if we wanted to go from four star to six star? I think as an improvement, they could also put that, that functionality in. How many penguins would it take? How many blooms would it take to do ultimately what you want, which a lot of the player base is going to do anyway. So adding in that one button, I think would also be a good uh, improvement for the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoy this video. I hope that at least it helped clarify a little bit about the new revamp on the promotion system. Give me a like if you enjoy this content so other people just like you can find it as well. Until next time, happy hunting and good luck on your battles.